take with you the passive voice. Of course, the passive voice can be used with all the tenses, but today's focus will be on the past simple. We use it with the past simple. Good. Take a look at these sentences. On October 16, 1833, a fire destroyed most of the building. Okay. Take a look at the second one. On October 1854, most of the building was destroyed by the fire. Okay? Good. So in English we have a normal structure, usual structure. It starts with the subject, the verb, and a direct object. Okay? Subject, verb, and direct objects. Good. So, as you see in this sentence, the most important or the focus is on the fire. What is the fire here? The fire, as I said, is the subjects. Okay? The subject. Destroy most of the building. Most of the building is the direct object. Good. The direct object. Okay? So here I said most important is the subject. We focus on the subject, the fire. Now when we want to express the idea in another way, means that we want to put and emphasize the focus on, sorry, we want to emphasize, we want to emphasize on the done object, put emphasis, okay? What will we do? So, this direct object will become the subject of the passive sentence, the passive form, okay? And we get, on October, most of the building here, okay? Most of the building, Becomes the subject. You see, in this sentence, the structure changed. Here, the direct object becomes the subject of the sentence, and the subject or the doer of the active sentence becomes the direct object of the passive form. Okay? Let's say the object. As you see. Okay? So, in the active form, the focus is on the subject, as I already explained, which is the fire. Good. And the normal structure, or the typical structure of an English sentence is, as you already know, the subject, the verb, and the direct object. Here, I insist on that word. Direct object. Okay? Let's see another example. You said people design the evil tower. This verb is on the past simple. Okay? It is in the past simple. It is a regular verb. Okay? As you see here, the verb to design is a transitive verb. It means it needs a direct object. Okay? It needs a direct object. So, this is past tense verb, okay? Let's see here, for the passive voice, for the passive form, the focus is on the direct object, okay? The direct object will be in the front of the sentence. So, this is what we care about, okay? And the structure of the passive sentence is, let's see here, very simple, okay? The subject which is direct object of the active one, see, the subject is actually the direct object of the active sentence, good, plus by, yeah, sorry, plus the verb or the auxiliary to be, very important. In the passive voice we use to be, okay, to be. Here we are talking about the past simple, so to be here in the past is was or were, okay? 
to be in the past. Was or were. Do you remember? Two options. Good. So, be plus the past participle of the verb, which is used in the active one, okay? Not the past tense, the past participle. I need to play. Plus by, plus the adjective, okay? Which is the subject of the active sentence. You see here, we changed, huh? We changed the vowels. The subject becomes the object, and the direct object becomes the subject in the passive voice. Good. Example. You see here, it's an active one. Let's turn it to the passive. The default tower was. You see, the default tower here is the subject. Okay? Becomes the subject. Was to be. Was is to be in the past. Okay? Default tower was designed. It's the past participle. Okay? The past participle. Then by Gustav Eiffel, which was, who was, sorry, Gustav Eiffel, who was the subject in the active sentence, okay? So to be, mean was or were, depends on the subject, plus the past participle of the verb. When you see here in your books, at the end of your book, you have a list of irregular verbs, okay? Yes, here, as you see, the list of irregular verbs. You have the first form, which is the infinitive. It's called the first form of the verb. The second form of the verb is the simple past, okay? Then you have the third form, which is known to be the past participle, okay? Here, for the irregular verbs, it's different, okay? Each verb has a unique form in the past and in the past participle, okay? Sometimes it's the same, but sometimes it's completely different, okay? Example, to begin, to start something, to begin, the past simple is begun with an A, okay? And the past participle is begun with U. You see the spelling? Begun, begun. So, of course, you just have to learn them by heart. What is different is for the regular verbs. For the regular verbs, it's very easy. The same form for the past simple and the past participle. They have the same. Just keep the same form. As you see here, for design, all the verbs ending with ed, which are regular verbs, they keep the same form for the past and past participle. Designed, the active voice. And here, was designed. You see, the past participle is the same because it's regular. This is very important to know. Okay, so all the regular verbs, they keep the same form. But for the irregular, it's different. Good. Okay, let's learn more about the passive voice. When or why do I use the passive form? Let's read this one. The pyramids were built by the pharaohs. Okay? in this sentence. This is passive, of course. Okay? So we just want to put the focus on the pyramids, which actually are the pyramids normally, is the, the direct object of the active sentence. Okay? The pharaohs build the pyramids. So here I just want to change the focus, okay? And put the pyramids in the front. It becomes the subject. Good. So just when you want to change the focus of the sentence, the, yes, the subject. Second, Alhambra Palace was built in the 9th century. Alhambra Palace was built in the 9th century. By who? Okay, here there is no by. The Alhambra Palace was built in the 9th century. By who? It's not important, okay? It's not important or we don't want to know it. Most important is that the palace was built in the 9th century. We don't need more information, okay? Good, so in this case, it's good to use the passive voice. The thief was arrested. Stop. The thief was arrested. By who? Okay? By who? Who is the adjective here? It's obvious. All, everybody knows that the thief was arrested by the police. Okay? So when we already know who is the 
agent. You can use, you, cannot, you can just not mention it and use the passive voice in this way. Okay? Good. Another point. I can, I can form, I can form passive sentences only with transitive verbs. As I already told you, transitive verbs, they are verbs followed by a direct object. Okay, they need a direct object. Example, to build some, something, to arrest someone, okay? You cannot say, example, Gusta Ifu built and you stop. Built. Meaningless. Okay, you, you need to add the direct object. Built, the Eiffel Tower, okay? Good. I cannot, I don't form passive structures with intransitive verbs. Intransitive verbs do not need any direct object, like to go, to arrive, to travel, etc. Example, he arrived late. Here, there is no object. So I cannot turn this sentence to a passive voice. You cannot say, you cannot start with late. Late is not an object, okay? He arrived late. She traveled to Spain. This sentence cannot be turned to passive voice. Okay? Good. The fourth point, I can't form the passive with state verbs. The state verbs, they are verbs which describe the state or yes, the state. State. Like to seem to be. Okay? State or situation. They describe the situation or the state. To seem to be. Examples. She seemed unhappy. She seemed unhappy. This sentence cannot be turned to passive voice. I was busy all day. I was busy all day. You see? Here is the verb to be in the past simple. Good. Let's practice. Now, turn these sentences to passive voice, okay? UNESCO added the Cassini Nature National Park to the World Heritage Site in 1982, okay? In this sentence, the verb is added. Added is in the past, okay? It's regular, ED. Good. So here is the subject of the verb and the tassili R is the object, the direct object. And to form the passive voice, we have to start with the direct object. Put it here. So I will write the national park. Okay, no need to write the whole sentence. The national park. Now I have to add to be in the past. Okay? To be in the past. The national park is singular, so I will add was. The national park was, and then the past participle of added is the same as it is regular verb. So was added. Was added to the world's heritage. Okay? was added to the World Heritage Site in 1982 by whom? By UNESCO, okay? By UNESCO. Good. Was added by UNESCO. Second sentence. Essie Jabbar wrote women of Algiers in their apartment and Fantasia, an Algerian cavalcade. Fantasia, an Algerian cavalcade in the 80s. Okay? So, Asia Jabbar is an Algerian writer and she wrote, here the verb is wrote, as you may notice, wrote is irregular verb. It's not regular. Okay? So, Asia Jabbar is the subject. Women of Algiers and Fantasia are two books, she wrote. Okay? Two books. So, I'll start with the two books, change the order, so, Women of Algiers and Fantasia. These two books, 
here, I have to find, to be in the past. So I have two books. Notice it's the plural. It's a plural subject. So, was or were. Of course, I have to write were. To be in the past, were. The two books were. Here, I, I need the past participle of wrote. Uh, it's completely different and it becomes written. Okay? Were written by, by, of course, a certified doer. As you You see, it's very easy. Just follow the rule and it will be okay. I have just a note, keep it in your mind. When you talk about someone's birth, you have to use the passive for example, you say he was born. He was born. Okay? This is to be plus past participle. He was born. Okay? And when you talk about someone's death, use the active form, which is he or she died. Okay? Never say he was died. No. The active voice. He died. Subject plus verb. And to talk about someone's birth use to be in the past plus past participle. Okay? Good. Another extra information. Okay, for uh, to, to make a negative, a negative passive form. Okay, example. Example. Here, as yet wrote women, women of Algiers. If this sentence is negative, very easy. Is this, if this sentence is negative, let's say, let's say the bar didn't, didn't, okay, negative, didn't, of course, here we have to write the infinity, didn't write. Let's say the bar didn't write, example, fantasma, didn't write fantasma. Didn't write the passive. I will turn it to passive. Okay, I will start with the book Fantasia. Fantasia. And now I need to put the verb or the auxiliary to be to negative form. Okay, this is very important. So, Fantasia wasn't. Fantasia wasn't. Wasn't what? I need. Past participle of write wasn't written by as yet you bar. You see? So every time I have to check the verb or the form of the active sentence, of the, 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 the verb in the active sentence. Okay? So didn't write here the verb is in the past in the negative form. So to be in the passive voice must take the same form. And was with negative we have wasn't, was not, plus the past participle of the verb right. Fantasia wasn't written by Asia Okay? Of course you have to practice, practice and practice. Practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.